Hey guys, it's Forte. I know it's been like two months since I upload a video. You know, I disappear every once in a while. And yeah, everybody is talking about AMC and GME once again. So I'll address my opinion on it. Um, you're a professional trader. You're not a gambler. So don't buy this. Don't buy this shit. You know, like, what are you going to if even if you make money off uh, GME and AMC today, are you going to make money off off it tomorrow? Like, are we just forgetting what happened four years ago? Yeah, it went crazy. Now what? At the time, matter of fact, at the time, I actually traded it. I swing traded it. I didn't hold it all the way up. I did swing traded it. And at the time, not that many people knew about it. We're in a world right now where when these two stocks get going, everybody in their mom knows about AMC and GMC and BlackBerry, all those kind of meme stocks. Get your FOMO away. Just calm down. You're a trader. You want to make you want to make this a living, don't you? You want to make sure you're able to make this money off the market consistently in the long run, in the next 30, 40, 50 years of your life. Why suffer over losing another 100 percenter here today? Stop imagining things that's never going to happen. If you knew the lottery ticket tomorrow's number, you're going to buy the number today. You are going to do that, but you don't. That's why you don't do it, right? Calm down and find your edge in the market and and uh, you know make your trade decisions off that, not on of Wall Street bad, not of um, Twitter, not of somebody's Discord, and definitely not of somebody's PNL screenshot that they took. Don't let those things get into your head. Do some meditation. Start breathing. Like actually, come on. Like, were well, you really gonna suffer over this? Because I've have I've, 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 my sister is asking me why I am not buying AMC and GM and GME, and I'm like, that's not what I do. You know, I missed that. I caught it. You know, a matter of fact, I did buy AMC yesterday for a little quick day trade. That was it. You know, bought it over somewhere around here, and then sold it somewhere around here. That's it. Am I gonna hold it overnight for this shit? No, I am not gonna do that. Why? I'm not. I'm not. I. I it's like knowing the lottery ticket tomorrow. I'm not gonna. I've seen so many stocks that does the same thing. AMC and JME is just one of them. Is the hype, is the cloud going to get this thing even higher? Who knows, right? There's no technical indication, right? If you want to buy this thing, go ahead and buy it to satisfy your gambling addiction. I'm just, I just want people to know that this is no different than buying a ticket to Vegas and go there and just bet all your money on the Russian roulette. There's not that big of a difference, okay? For those of for those people out there that claim that they do, they think that they they know which way it's going. They're bullshitting you. Nobody knows. Okay, nobody knows. With that being said, let's talk about something I might and might might know, which is uh the actual market right now. Matter of fact, I actually am pretty bearish. I think this thing might come crash down a little bit. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. We'll see. I know we're hitting all time high, but we have not seen any good volume movements on the on this way up there's been a lot of red volume that's better than the green volume on the nasdaq composition and the also the nyse composite index nothing has been good volume has been low on the way up and we haven't really seen any good um uh, setups in this market maybe a couple setup that are excuse me that are good is a uh, Fimbo, but this is a Hong Kong Chinese name. It's very sketchy. So uh, it's I I I I actually think this is even not as sketchy as AMC and GME, just because we're near all time high and there's a potential for the growth of this stock. Uh, and you know that Hong Kong stocks they've been in they've been an anomaly for a while. Stocks such as uh, IZM they go up like that, but you do have to quickly take profit on stocks like these. And uh, another stock I do want to share is DDOG. This one, I want to short this thing because I think if I think the market is going to crash, I think that, you know, I'm, I, I we're looking for shorts and I'm not going to short the market. I'm going to short stocks that's showing weakness. And one of them is Datadog, DDLG. And the reason why is because if you take a look at the daily chart, we're, there's a, this huge consolidation area and we're pretty much right below it. We're below the 50 day moving average. The stock is in the danger zone. They we're hitting the previous uh, resist, uh, support line. Well, now it's becoming resistance. 
and now we're the stock is coming down so if this thing can really start to get going on the downside we can start to short this thing on the way down and uh we can see that the insiders are selling the stock every single day pretty much and uh yeah with how the market goes and the lack of setup i think that we're actually don't get too excited i'm thinking that we're might be we might be more bearish than uh i might be i am more bearish than bullish right now and uh yeah that's that's it for the video thank you guys for watching i'll uh see you guys again once i feel like it's time to make a video again peace oh like and subscribe